Memorial Day is a really special time for, for me and my family, especially this year. It wasn't always something I knew a whole lot about. In fact, my birthday is always around Memorial Day weekend. So when I was little, I thought it was really cool to have this long weekend, this holiday. And certainly as I've gotten older, uh, this has changed quite a bit. And it changed really because I met my husband. Uh, my husband graduated from Annapolis and went on to serve our country in the Navy on both surface ships uh, and with the Navy SEAL teams as well. And it was really early on in our relationship, uh, we just met, <laughs> when he brought me to Fort Rosencrantz National Cemetery, uh, where a few of his, his very good friends and his teammates are, are buried. Mark Lee is the first Navy SEAL killed in Iraq who was awarded the Silver Star. Um, my husband and Mark were together when Mark was killed. They had been in many firefights together during that deployment. and. Um, and that, that was obviously a, a very significant day. Uh, Mike Mansour is a Medal of Honor recipient, also a teammate of my husband's, but as I learned from him when it comes to military service, as many of you know, uh, there's very little division between friend and teammate and family. When I met my husband, war became very personal for really the first time in my life. And the reality hit because my husband was also deploying and the stakes became very real. Uh, since I met my husband, uh, we've lost two really good friends of ours. Uh, one of them, Ryan Job, is a SEAL who was blinded by an enemy sniper round. Uh, he survived that. He was blinded, uh, but he passed away uh, in a following surgery that he had to have to repair his combat wounds. Uh, Brian Bill uh, was in the helicopter of Navy SEALs that was shot down in Afghanistan this past fall. This was only a few weeks after my husband and I got married, and Brian, uh, being who he was, had figured out how to come to the wedding despite being up against another deployment to Afghanistan. So he was there for that event and was with all of our friends, but then only a few weeks later, uh, he passed away. So this Memorial Day, I'm really struck by the, uh, the profound loss this is, you know, not only to my family and to our friends and to our friends' families, but just the loss to the country overall. It's so, there's not even words that can really describe it. These people will never be replaced. Their aspirations will never be met and they died serving our country. And we should remember really what Memorial Day is all about. It's a day to honor these warriors and the many like them who gave their lives and, you know, have a cold beer in their honor because knowing them, that is what they'd want us to do. Maybe one beer, not 20, maybe one, uh, to honor them this holiday weekend. Uh, but let us, let us never forget.